right, folks, happy Tuesday, and welcome to your home workout instructions and variations for Valkyrie Fitness home workout number 17. Um, this is the second day of our new phase of workouts. Uh, today, we're gonna be focusing a lot on the back um, and then also on a lot of quad activation. Um, so if you guys have looked at the workout, one of the things that you saw right off the bat is I instantly said, go find a set of stairs. Uh, if you tuned in to last night's quarantine check-in, it's also something that I mentioned right off the bat. You wanna find yourself a set of stairs. If you don't have stairs, there are certain things that you can do. Um, over here to the side, you can kind of see, I got my little black box down there and then a normal box, and I'm kind of using these as like stairs, okay? Here we are, walking up the stairs, walking down the stairs, okay? So we're gonna utilize that little setup to kind of go over the first two parts, okay? So if you do not have stairs available, one of the things that I want you to do is what's called a swing lunge, okay? So a swing lunge, and I'm gonna turn the camera over to um, in my little area with a little bit more room, okay? So that swing lunge, you should be doing forward and then reverse, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys from the side. So you're doing a forward lunge into a reverse lunge. If you can, you're just looking to go one leg right into the other. But if you need to, stop in the middle, hit your lunge, stop in the middle, hit your lunge, okay? So that is your normal swing lunge. Now, in regards to the progression, you would have to switch that up a little bit, okay? So let's go back to our steps before we talk about how we switch up that progression, okay? So there is our trusty stairs right there. All right, so what we're looking to do is go up and down. So you're almost kind of ascending and descending at the same rep count. So if I got one stair, I'm gonna go up that stair, then I'm gonna go back down. Then I'm gonna go up two stairs, then I'm gonna go down two stairs. Then I'm gonna go up three stairs, then I'm gonna go down three stairs. All the way till you get to the top of your staircase. Um, we want a total of four rounds on this, so that way you hit both legs twice, okay? Uh, that is one of the things that it did not say on there, I apologize, but you should be doing four rounds, okay? So if you want to, start everything with your right leg, step up with the right leg, step back down, come back down to the start of the staircase, then hit the other side with the left, step up, step back down, okay? Utilize your staircase, all right? The second portion, and of course, if you can make it to Forest Park, Creve Court Park, all the places, um, downtown, the riverfront, any place that has a tremendous amount of stairs, you can get a great workout in that, but be careful. Some of the places you go to might be a little bit too many stairs, okay? So be careful when you do that. Um, just kind of imagine how many stairs do I have in my house? So I have 14 steps, 16 steps, whatever. That's what you want to mimic if you are out and about at a park or something, okay? Remember that lunge, we'll go back to that now, is your option, okay? So on the lunge, if we were to do the swing lunge, all we're going to do is just uh, add reps, okay? So if I'm going to do the swing lunge starting with the left leg first, I'm going to go forward, backwards, forward, forward, backwards, backwards, forward, forward, forward again, backwards, backwards, and backwards again, okay? That's how you're gonna mimic that progression, okay? Great thing about the lunges is you do get a little bit more booty involved in it too. So if you did not get enough booty work last week and you wanna just do this option and instead of the stairs anyway, go for it, but guess what? You also get a lot of good booty engagement on those stairs. If you guys have ever been on a stair master, you understand what I'm talking about, okay? So, four rounds of those either lunges or progression up and down the stairs, okay? Second portion 
lateral step ups. This is going to be a little bit different, so I'm going to get a little bit more boxing to the view. Okay, so you're going to do a lateral step up to a leg raise, okay? So you're going to start on the side of the stair or box or whatever you're using, and you really don't need stairs for this portion. Uh, you just need something to step up on, so a box will work out, okay? Step, get to the top, leg raise, come back down. Step, get to the top, leg raise, come back down. Okay, same thing on the other side. Step up, leg raise, come back down. Step up, leg raise, come back down. Okay, work those adductors. That is gonna be four sets of 20 on each leg. When you're done with that 20, I want you to find below parallel, so think below the knee, okay? If I'm doing a normal squat, right? I'm squatting, here's parallel, but if I want to get a little bit lower, I'm utilizing something like this, right? So, boop, I can squat a little bit lower. Get those below parallel squats, right? That is why on the workout, you see me say, hey, go ahead, stay by the stairs, and do a tap squat on the stairs. Because usually, you're gonna have a set of stairs, maybe the fourth or fifth stair up, That'll be at that perfect height, right below your knee. Maybe it's the second, third stair. Depending on how your house is set up. If you have the room to sit that booty back on those stairs, tap that butt down on those stairs. Get below parallel. Get a little bit of extra booty engagement on there. Okay? So that's the whole purpose of those tap squats. So think about it in regards to you're doing four sets, 20 each leg, and then 20 on the tap squats. And you guys got a total four rounds on that okay so go back and forth leg then do the second leg then do the tap squats go through four times okay next portion is going to be five rounds and this one you're going to have to get a little tricky with okay now perfect opportunity if you have some men in your home who feel like they are handy who feel like they can build some things uh, tell them to start building some anchors <laughs> in the house, whether you guys can do them out in the garage or you have an office area or room, storage room that you're not utilizing. Um, build some anchors so you can put stuff up like bands, TRX straps, and things like that. And then that way we can focus a little bit more upper body work. Because remember, one of the hardest things about this time frame is we can do tons of stuff to the legs, hips, ass, eyes, all that stuff, no problem. It's the upper body where we tend to fail. And for women, it's very, very difficult to deal with this right now because if you have been losing using weights, you might feel as if you're losing something. Look, first off, you have not, okay? I'm just gonna be completely honest. Unless you have been powerlifting for like the past three to five years, you might lose minimal amounts of strength, but it's nothing to get worried about because the minute you get back on track, you'll be able to get that right back, okay? It's just those people who are lifting super heavy weights that they're gonna have issues getting back if they're not able to keep up their strength development, okay? You guys are fine, all right? So don't think you're losing anything. That's not the case, okay? But we still wanna try to get as much upper body work as we can. So you have pull downs or straight arm pull downs, okay? Your normal pull downs, if you guys can get a band, you have one, stretch it like that. Um, you might even have, and here's the thing, that a lot of people are not thinking about when they think about these bands. What are we talking about here? Resistance, right? Okay, all it is is a big rubber band. That does not mean I want you to go start looking for giant rubber bands, but I know a lot of you guys camp. I know a lot of you guys uh, probably have a lot of cars or something in your yard. So more than likely you have some of those cables that are resistance cables that you use to tie stuff on, tying down mattresses, tying stuff to the, you know, the beds of your trucks. Use those. Okay, because they have resistance, okay? And then that way, if you're waiting on some bands to come in from any of these places like Amazon, Academy, Dix, or something like that, you can utilize something. So if you have any of those tie-off, you know, bands that people use for cars to tow stuff to when they're moving, moving, a lot of people are moving right now, right? A lot of people are moving right now. So you normally see people using these to keep furniture in the back of a truck. But guess what? You can also find ways to use these now for fitness. So if you get one of those 
Find something you can tie it to. You know, something in a garage probably will work fine. Make sure it's a solid anchor because you do not want to fuck up your house, <laughs> right? We don't want to mess up our house. So with the pull downs, think tricep rope extensions, okay? So the elbows are close to the body. Pull all the way down and through the thighs so you get that pop in the back side of the tricep, okay? Keep it close. Breathe out, inhale as it's coming back up. Breathe out as you push it down and away from you. Okay, these are something that you could be utilizing all the time to get great blood flow back into the elbows and stuff like that if you do go back to weightlifting. But for right now, this is a great way to work those triceps and you can do so many reps that you can get a great burn out of it, okay? Let me show you the pull down. So the pull down, you will need another device. Okay, so we got five rounds of this. Okay, so if you're only gonna be doing the pull downs, I want you to only do 10 of these. But if you're gonna be doing that, or if you're doing the straight arm pull downs, I want you to do 10. But if you're doing that tricep pull down, the band pull through, then just do 20 of these because we wanna keep that volume high, okay? So my clients know this because we do these a lot. If you have a broomstick, PVC pipe, you guys can go to Home Depot, you can go to Menards, you can go to Lowe's and buy these. They're not gonna run out, <laughs> you know? Uh, and there's so much stuff you can do with these PVC pipes. Um, and it's something that I'm trying to tell you guys is not gonna run out. So go get you some, or you can even make these yourself. Okay, so that straight arm pull down, think like I'm at the gym using the resistance cable machine, right? Starting with my arms straight, my knees are bent, shoulder blades are back, and my core is activated. I'm driving that PVC pipe through my rib cage and thighs and returning it back up to the top of the head. Drive through, turn back. Okay? I only want you guys to do 10 of those. So if you have a couple of resistance bands, strap up one or two, get to work, feel that activation hitting the lats, low back, uh, the upper portion of your back. That's exactly what you're looking to hit. And if you keep those arms nice and straight, you still get a little bit of love on those triceps too. Okay, so you guys got five rounds of that. You're either doing 20 triceps or 10 of the pull downs, okay? Five total sets. All right, which leads us to that also ever important portion, which is the Metcon. And uh, you guys have been doing a fantastic job uh, leaving your Metcon scores and comments. Um, I know some of you guys are just like, I don't even know what I'm doing, so I'm not even gonna comment. I'm just gonna kind of let this be. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, if you can at least try to get some of the workout in, that is really the only thing that matters at the end of the day. All right, so I'm gonna grab one of my sandbags because my backpack is a little bit too far right now. Uh, and we're gonna use that to kind of talk about the swings, okay? So, you guys got four rounds of this and you're starting off with a 100 meter sprint. So similar to yesterday's workout, we're shortening some of this cardiovascular because we're looking to get more power, hit a couple more muscle fibers so that we can keep up this intensity that's gonna allow us to kind of maintain something during this quarantine, right? So you're gonna be doing 100 meter sprints and I want these things to be as fast as you can. Run down to the end of the street. If it's maybe 100, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, who gives a crap? Sprint, get your butt down there. If you don't have access to a place to run, grab that jump rope. I want 15 seconds as hard as you can go with that jump rope or any other version of cardio. 15, no more than 30 though, folks, okay? This needs to be intense. How long would it take you to run down the end of the street? If it's 10 to 15 seconds, if you're not able to run, then you have 10 to 15 seconds of something keeping that body moving. You can do speed skater lunges, of course, burpees, all those things work perfectly fine. Get it done. Odd object swings. So remember, if you guys got like that milk crate or anything at home, that's fantastic. A rec bag would be great. Backpack, get that hip hinge. Squeeze that butt at the top and work those swings. You guys got a total of 10 of those on each arm after you get finished with the run. Then we got those lovely palms to elbow and inverted rows 
or we'll use the odd object for row. So palms the elbow, you guys should know these by now, but we will quickly go over them. You start off on your forearms, in that plank position, you come up one palm at a time, and then flip it over to the other side, okay? Palms, elbows, fantastic upper body workout, works the triceps, forearms, and also the back too. So definitely wanna keep that in the wheelhouse. Last thing you guys have is that inverted row, or I want you to use a sandbag and just do a normal bent over row. So if you have an odd object, try to get it as heavy as you possibly can. You know, the great things about these is they have handles. So if we were bent over, shoulder blades back, and we're rowing, right? Nice flat back, chest down, into the rib cage. But say you don't have that, but maybe you have a pull-up bar, some TRX straps, something that is a little bit more anchored, that is where you're gonna truly get the benefit of that inverted row. Um, at our gym, we have rings that we do inverted rows on, um, but you can also use a barbell if you need to. Uh, I would definitely not use a PVC pipe or anything like that on this because you will more than likely break the pipe, fall on your ass, that's the end of that story, right? <laughs> so with this inverted row, what you want to do, start off on the ground, okay? Heels on the ground and pull your chest up to the bar like you're doing a pull up, right? Boom, okay? If you need options, Keep those feet flat, bridge those hips, and work it as a bridge row. You'll get great core engagement. If you want to add a little bit more core to it in the first place, go that route with the bridge. TRX straps, you can use those. Bands, not so much because it's just going to allow you to come out too far. Weight distribution is not going to be correct. Anything you can do. But remember, if you don't have access to anything that's anchored, that's okay. You can use those sandbags, you can use backpacks, you can use even an empty barbell if you have it with no weights on there, kettlebells, dumbbells, whatever. You want a bent over row as that option, but if you can, you're looking to do the inversion, okay? So, four rounds, get them done as fast as you can, and give me a scored time, either at the bottom of this video or at the bottom of the workouts. All right, folks, we got one more workout coming up tomorrow. And then we got Thursday, then we take that Friday rest day, and then we hit Saturday. Please feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns. Maybe you're learning, how, wanting to know how to do certain movements. Don't hesitate to send those there as well or to our Valkyrie Fitness Facebook page. We'll try to get everything answered as fast as possible. You guys have a lovely rest of your Tuesday. Keep your heads up, folks. You guys are fine, man. You guys are all alive. You're surviving. Stop drinking so much, but other than that, you guys are doing fine. And we'll be hitting that second workout tomorrow. We will make it, folks. Deuces.